Welcome back to our San Jose Sharks franchise mode here. The retool has officially begun. I am uh, back and refreshed. I had to catch myself up a bit, but I did indeed do all the off-camera stuff needed. Uh, coaches, scouts, we're going to have our A-team after this year, so won't have to update scouts anymore after this. That'll be nice. Um, so yeah, the retool has begun. Carlson's gone. Um, and uh, probably more faces are going to be gone as we sort of uh, turn the page here, uh, so to speak, as we begin to draft. Where we've, we've already drafted pretty darn good, actually. Uh, Balsers wants another extension. <sighs> 27, I mean, maybe we keep him around. He's, he's not too bad. Does fit onto the second line right now. That's kind of expensive, especially for a guy built off stat growth. And if he does lose it over the course of... Uh, uh, the next couple of years here, which he may in fact do, simply because we're not going to be as good. We're going to be selling some pieces here and there. Yeah, kind of interesting. But, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll hold off. Uh, Johansson, we picked up, um, jeez. <laughs> in a trade, dude? Yeah, I think we picked him, but yeah, in a trade or something like that. Uh, Kanijov. He's really not happy. Let's extend him anyway, because I like him. Uh, Hill. Oh, it looks like we're going to need an actual backup. I don't know if Benoit is going to be ready. Let's get a guy in between, just, just to have... Um, oh, yeah, we do have Hill extended. Or I already offered him a deal. Looks like I was kind of holding off on everyone else. Okay. There we go. A little bit of catch-up. Now, we could fill some holes here in uh, free agency. Now, we do have some young guys coming up. Like, there's your 12 right there. Uh, that actually could work. Um, you know what? We might not need any uh, forwards here. How about defensemen? Probably need one defenseman. Although, Hataka might... Eh, I don't think he's going to jump up. Might as well get someone. So, let's grab probably another top six guy. Vlasic is just going to... Yeah, you know. Well, he's... <laughs> contract's almost up, actually. So, perfect timing. <laughs> We can just eat the rest of that. That'll help us uh, sit at the cap floor as we sort of retool the roster here. We're going to obviously hold on to Ferraro, Merkley. These kind of, these, this is like the new core right here. Ferraro, Merkley. Um, not too sure if we're, uh, you know, going to hold on to My Meyer's 27, but I mean, that's okay. It's just he doesn't want an extension. So if that doesn't change, probably you just get rid of him. Because I'm not going to struggle to try to keep someone around who doesn't necessarily want to be here. Balls, ah, it's such a tough decision with Balsers. I, I, I have to keep him up. I, and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, you know? All right, let's check out free agency here. See what we can see. Oh, shit, I forgot. Uh, before we actually get started here, we do have a winner. A winner to read off from last year's point scoring contest. Just one winner. And it's not a clean sweep. Not too many of you guys uh, guessed, actually. What the hell? You guys are slacking. <laughs> so uh, this time the winner is fucking Stallion Duck, who guessed the team lead, Eric Carlson, and the league lead, Patrick Kane. Went for Varlamov, which was interesting. And he actually was up in, like, the top ten. Just didn't quite was the, uh, wasn't quite the top goalie. So congrats to you for getting those two correct. And best of luck to everyone in this coming season. There we go, that was easy. Alright, so, yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. Such a terrible free agency class. Um, so it doesn't look like there's any uh, kind of prospect-ish dudes. Uh, Sam Steele, but he's going to be tendered. There's no, wait, 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 no he's not. Uh, I'm looking at Peltier. How is Peltier not interesting? Top six forward. Playmaker. And eh, that, that awareness is really low. Abramov, another playmaker. Low. Nah, I don't like these guys. Nah. All right, let's look at goaltenders here. Now, I do want to snag someone. All right, Olnefeld is tendered, so, I mean, there's no real point going for him. Scott, you could do. I kind of want, wanted someone who was kind of in between, but honestly, we could just bury a Gustafson. So, might as well sign some. You know, let's go to overalls. We get it. A lot better of a selection here. 
I'm thinking like someone like 80-ish overall. Like, I mean, they don't have to be cheap, but they might as well be cheap. Let's go for Montembeau. Just make sure we get them 900. I'll do a mil flat. I don't know. Money's not going to be an object here, so who cares? We'll grab Montembeau for our backup slash AHL starter, depending on what Dylan Penwa is ready for. And that's probably going to be it. There's no, as, as you saw, there's no one, no real prospects available. But I want the two-way. Yeah, no. What you want to find is like 20-year-old, low six, though. Nah. Two-way's okay, but like low six, 59 at 20 is not great. Here's one, 69 at 20. As a defenseman, absolutely. DFD, no X factors or anything, but that guy's worth. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I always do that because I have a two way. That's like a habit I do for two ways. Uh, that's probably the only guy I'm going to grab. Like, high nine's nice, but he's a playmaker. No thanks. Nah. 20, 66, medium, 9, playmaker. Yeah, if they were, like, role players, two ways, and such, so forth, they might. Like, Niederbach isn't too bad. Medium, 9, 73, 22. It's not too bad. I mean, we do need some guys for our AHL here, so. Let's grab him as well. So that's a... Should be a couple guys. 77, playmaker. I liked him, I'd like him to be 23 or... Younger. Hmm. I'd rather save the rest of my slots now. Let me take one look. Make sure I... I don't want to sign any... Or have any guys that I want to sign here. Alright, you know what? Unsigned here. Sort by overall. So we got this McKenzie guy. Is he... Oh, we could sign him. Might as well, dude. 75 overall, 19. Yeah, he is ready for AHL. Let's get him signed. Um, Everyone else can probably just hold off on man. Yeah, he's in Europe, but I'd rather just... He's only 65. He's going to be listed as other. I'd rather just leave him off. Everyone else will leave uh, off contract. Yeah. All right. So that's probably going to do it. Yeah, we're signing a couple guys in free agency. We'll have like 42-ish contracts, I think. We do have one exemption. And that should probably do it here. Let's see if we get all the scouts and whatnot get out of here. Holding on to Bjorkstrand. We're gonna, we need a sniper on the roster. So I still want the roster to perform. Well, I mean, not perform well, but I mean, just for... I don't know. We don't have to miss the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, it'd be good for our picks and whatnot, but it's not like a necessary thing. We've drafted pretty well. I have confidence we could continue to draft pretty well and we can flex our trade muscles too for stuff we need. Well, too bad. Yeah, thanks. I don't like your market. Screw you. Yeah, you don't like my market either. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There's the three coaches. Why did I get all the scouts? I knew, I knew I had a couple more scouts. All right, we got Toscala. Uh, we got Montembo. We got Hill to his extension. Kanizhov extended. Uh, Niederbach. And I think we had one more, right? Or I guess he already signed. Okay. Let me just double check. We should be at 42. If they all signed, yes, we are. Okay. So there we go. Six mil to spare. 42 mil. Save a bit of cash for Mr. Platner. And that should just about do it here. So, again, we're probably going to be making some trades here. But not right now. Probably going to kind of see how the lines are going to shake out. See how we perform. See where the young guys are going into. Then sort of reassess from there. It's going to be really dependent on when our younger guys are ready for their role. So we're going to sim up here. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so the lines are set up. Cat the Couture is still there. Center, uh, not centering, sorry. On the wing of Eklund, who is now centering that first line, age 21, 87 overall, with uh, Bjorkstrand on the wing. Then we got Balsers, Dahlin, and Meyer on the second line. Third line of Gaucher, Habibulin, and Johansson. 
So Javi Bulin obviously listed as third liner. Uh, Gaucher is listed as second liner, but it didn't, there wasn't great. Yeah, I kind of wanted some chemistry. So I'm doing some chemistry. He's, he's going to be on the top power play unit uh, and everything like that. So he should be okay ice time wise. He's also on the PK. So let's hope that makes it okay for him. Uh, Jasper, uh, Peterson, and Gajevic. Um, Peterson in there simply be, even though he's not great, um, just for chem. I'm, I'm trying to boost up chemistry, see if that actually benefits uh, too much here. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so that's what we're going with. Here's the defensive pairings. Pelic and Merkley, uh, Ferraro and Knyazev, and then uh, Vlasic and Clifton. Who I, I, yeah, I forgot to sign someone. I, I did that off camera. I was I got so carried away looking at prospects that I forgot to actually get a roster guy. So I got him as well as a depth piece. Um, simply because... Um, Knizhov, yeah, he went back to list it as minor two, I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm doing this for, just to neutralize the weird-ass chemistry. We got that Toskala guy in there as well. Kind of excited about him, dude. 70 at 20, he's literally on pace, and he's top four. So, I mean, that's tremendous. He could, he could for sure make the NHL. Not expecting to be anything more than top six, but hey, pretty damn good chance to be that. Uh, goaltenders, of course, Hill and Montembeau. Here's the power play. Gaucher, Eklund, Couture, Habibulin, and Merkley. Plus five. Uh, Balsers, Dahlin, uh, Dahlin, Johansson, Meyer, Bjorkstrand. Quick look at the uh, four-man there. Got the main guys in there. Habibulin and Gaucher. Uh, penalty kill. Eklund, Gajevic, Pelik, Ferraro, Gaucher. Uh, sorry, Peterson, Clifton, and Knyazev. Three man, I put Vlasic in there to neutralize the chemistry. Four on four. Eklund Couture paired together. Couture is going to teach him the ropes. Uh, and then the defensive pairings will be essentially what they are. For the five on five, Happy Bull and Balsers. So pass a shooter there. And then Dahlin and, uh, Dahlin and Gaucher. The fucking accent throws me off. <laughs> I, I call this dude Dahlin in literally real life. And then it's here. I, I see it red. And I'm like, Dahlin. I blame that defenseman. <laughs> uh, yeah, so same forward pairings here. And then Merkley Knyazev because he is 89 offensive awareness. And then Ferraro. Extra attacker, Eklund Meyer. Guess we can do that. And the shootout lineup, Eklund is as follows. Yeah, you see it. So there we go. Uh, this guy, Chris. As a depth guy, and Merkley as a depth guy, because I didn't want to start him, because look at that. Yeah, he's pretty rough on the chemistry side of things. So there you go. Yeah, he's better than Peterson. Maybe it's even better to have him in there, but all things considered, whatever. This is what we're rolling with. So there we go. All right. So the new, the new look to the San Jose Sharks now. Uh, a few new coaches. Still got the same head coach, which obviously we're not married to. Let's check those contracts again, see if anything reset here. Meyer still doesn't want to come back. That's a much better deal, even though it's long-ass term. Here's the thing. If I sign him to a couple years and he has a rough year... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure what I'm doing with Rudy yet. I, I do like him. I, I do really like him. It's kind of nuts, man. Like, he does have really, really good uh, awareness. Again, he is built primarily on stack growth. That's the thing. He's stalled for the second line right now. I don't know. I don't know. But Meyer's looking like a guy we're going to ship out. Simply because Gaucher could fill his role. Meyer doesn't want to come back. So, yeah. God damn it, Balsers. I'm not doing no eight years. I know that for a fact. That's such a bad idea. I mean, it's not hard. Right, let's see what the price is. He'll be done when he's like 36, which is stupid. Um, I just want to see what that price tag is. Like, it's not bad. It's under five. So if he drops back, it's like, ah, it's not too bad. He should have the high stats. I just don't like the deal. So let's let's check another couple year deal for him. See if that is any deal. It is okay. At least it's under six. So it'd be five, seven, seven, five for a couple years. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. 
it's it's not a horrible horrible deal and he's a nice uh good playmaker to have we don't actually have a ton of those that's kind of why i was looking at it um playmaker wise we really don't have any gochet is a power forward happy boolin is a sniper um dabernacolo is a power forward or dabernacolo and then maxime is also a sniper right so i got the happy brothers <laughs> Gustav and Maxine. So yeah, we don't really have playmakers. So I mean, Balster is like, I want to keep around for that reason. All right. So that's that. Watch us win the cup now. <laughs> All righty. Uh, captains, obviously Couture's captain. Alternates is Balsers and uh, Ferraro. Because Balsers is actually a locker room leader. <laughs> like a leader too, not just a presence, actual leader. How amazing. All right, let's see what the heck's going to happen here. Get this first little uh, month plus done. And see where we stand. Scouts are assigned. Coaches are here. We're good to go. Boss has accepted that extension. So there we go. Uh, Eklund battled through a minor injury. And we're destroying preseason, as did Aiden Hill. Yeah, we're cap compliant. All right, we just went undefeated in preseason. You know what that means? We're going to absolutely get smoked here in the beginning of the season. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Oh, boy. Are we going to do better than we ever did? Gustav's sore knee for him. So he's out for a couple days. Not too bad. This is why we got Merkley. Ah, this is why we have Merkley. Oh, goodness. Of course. So, update. Sub in all lines. <laughs> Still doesn't work properly. <laughs> oh, and I did check. You actually, you can't edit the uh, the shooting bias here. It has to be like when you're creating a player or editing rosters. So that's a bit unfortunate. As you could, it'd be cool to be able to tell a guy, hey, you should shoot more. But, you know. One step at a time, I guess. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still managing my expectations with everything. I know everyone gets hyped when something, but something, something else broke. I, I, I just, <laughs> something else broke with all these cool things that EA did, right? Alrighty, um, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, that's our last, okay, Happy Boolin's at least back, so you get to play through injury, buddy, sorry. Don't really have a choice here. Back in you go. I mean, I could call someone else up, but nah, we're actually... Short on depth, guys, as well. Don't get re-injured, Happy Boolin. You should be fine, right? There he is. All right, we're... F <laughs> fuck this game, dude. Seriously, fuck this game. We're freaking tearing it up. Lane Peterson's back. Amazing. 8-1-1. One, and 9-11 one. <sighs> Bush did it. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this. You want Pellick? I don't want Kerfoot. Absolutely not. Let me just... I'll I'll make my trades. Alright, Vlasic. Get a little morale boost. <laughs> Wait, I know I'm not gonna trade him. Otherwise, I'll just keep him on there for lulls. It's, it ain't gonna happen. There's no one gonna take on that contract. Even if I, like, retained half of it, it'd still be not worth it. Which is hilarious. Well, look at this shit. All right, now we're going to start falling back down to earth, right? Yeah, a little bit. 13, 5, and 2. Top of the division. Well, tied for top. Not trying. Literally. Oh, okay. Hey, well, at least Eklund's starting to produce now. He <laughs> just There we go. Woo. We were a little worried there for a bit, but he's having his breakout season. He's point per game through the first uh, couple months. Eight goals, uh, 12 assists, too. Not too bad. Good. All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's see how we're doing here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. We almost have a one different. I ha I didn't have a one differential the entire freaking. What the hell, Johansson? Sweet. Get some performance boost so I can sell high on you. Good gr good gracious. Point per game, Ryan Johansson. <laughs> uh, Eklund with 20 points, Balser 16, Bjorkstrand and 16, Meyer as well with 16. Kachur and Dahlin also have uh, 15. 
Uh, Gaucher with 13, not too bad. It, it's actually not too bad. Uh, Happy Bullen, 9 and 17. Could use a bit more out of him. But not too shabby, all things considered. Not real any production from the back end. Merkley, come on, dude. Look at your freaking stats. You got to produce. You got nothing on the power play, really? On the top unit? Okay. Um, Aiden Hill is having a phenomenal start. And actually, Montembeau's not doing bad. He doesn't have the points, but, I mean, his stats are out of this world. So, Aiden... <laughs> okay. Hey, we do have him signed. Or extended, I should say. Could get some nice stack growth. Here we go. Stanley Cup, here we come. We're on our way, baby. We are on our way. All right. Let's uh, get another month done. We'll check on the progress reports after that. We will keep an eye because the two guys are listed as depth, but I'm starting them in the AHL because that's what I do. I will call them up midway uh, through the year. Noah Gregor. Throw someone in here. What the hell? Why is this? No data to display. What are you talking about? Anyway, that's annoying. All right. Scouting time. And absolutely, we will manually scout here. All right, well, <laughs> top five will take care of itself. That's the least of my uh, worries here. Let's see what the rest of the first uh, first round has in store for us. All the members have been drafted by this point, so we're all developing and stuff. And hopefully doing doing well, doing things, doing stuff. Oh, hello. He'll probably move up the draft, right? If not, keep an eye on him. Awful lot of X-Factors, and a lot of guys our scouts seem to think may have a chance to go much earlier than they're actually projected at, so that's cool. So we'll go to probably around 50. Ooh, that's a early, early low there. We'll see if he stays around that area. Pretty early low. Maybe not super early, but pretty early, at least initially. We'll, like I said, we'll see if he... Moves up. He'll probably drop down. If he moves up, I might actually think EA generated a low franchise, which I don't think I've seen EA do ever. Such a, It's such a cool potential, though. Like, low franchise. Come on. Okay. So on we go towards the second round now. There's another low. So looking good for uh, some low elites here in the normal places. There's a goalie here. Very, very early goalie. Not that we need goalies. In fact, I actually don't know. Do <laughs> How many of our potential ones did we trade? Uh, it could be four. Decent location, at least, so. All right. Just about to the end of it. No other lows besides that one that popped in. Some unknowns, which obviously could turn into that, but. All right. Let's do some target scouting now. 64 being looked at. 66, another goaltender. It's probably going to keep generating a lot of goaltenders because we have a bunch. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's the thing the game does. If you like are hoarding too much of something, the game will generate more so other people get it. I don't know, that's just a feeling. That's just, that's just like, it's not like I've done any tests on the, I, I won't be. What the hell? Why are there so many goalies? It's not like I've done any tests or anything. It'd be, a, I honestly, at this point, last year, it's like I didn't enjoy it enough to have, to be playing my own franchise modes. Now I just can't because the game will fucking delete my other save files, which is fantastic. I'd still like to have a fix for that, by the way. Which is probably another reason I'm not super stoked on any patch and crap, but hey. What can you do besides fix your game? Alright, so into the low territory. That's a big gap, 78 to the 200s. Hopefully uh, in the low 6 area we have a bit more. Okay, there's some with one tick. So we'll see what this uh, draft's going to look like uh, depth-wise and how good it is-wise. It might kind of take a couple years of chilling simply because of all, all the uh, all the prospects we added in from the membership stuff. Mm 
Brad Ackblad. You know, in the 50s, I really like the 50s now. Um, simply because that's what we've seen a lot of medium elites pop up in the 50s in this game. Uh, in 21, they really didn't appear until like the 70s, like earliest. It was like 70 through like 100 was like the kind of the prime spot. Now it's anywhere from like 50. You've seen them towards the 100s too. It's a much wider area, which I like. It makes scouting all the all that more, all that much more, all the more tough. There we go. All that. That's that, that's the. It was that in there. Speaking of all that, anyone used to watch that shit, or did I just horrifically date myself? All righty. Not a bad selection here. Okay, that guy's in rough spot. These guys kind of in that no man's land for the lows. But, again, still worth taking a gander at with the kind of the more random elements that uh, NHL 22 provides. Still not completely random. They didn't change too, too much. Love it. 57. Possible medium. Let's go. You love to see it. This is prime, prime real estate. Multiple. This guy might have X Factor too. Bit late, but this guy could be top six, man. I've seen top six appear in crazy locations. All right. One more here who's actually, oh, guy, he's got that name. Gervais Schwinnard. Okay, actually, we had quite a bit to do here. I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. My, my button clicking senses are very satisfied right here. Got ourselves a good little head start for our scouts. There we are. All right. Oops, I forgot to check defenseman, but who cares? Uh, one nothing loss, man. How do you do that? Come on now. Aiden Hill's liking his ice time. Oof, that's a real concussion for Hataka. This is such an important development year for him, too. That sucks. That really sucks. Damn it. Oof, now, okay, now we're starting to lose here. Yeah, now we're going to start. Okay, so the wheels are going to fall off now, I guess. Or not, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this team. I don't expect them to be good. My expectations aren't high. They're making me laugh. Mild concussion for Kashin. Of course, it's another friggin' defenseman. Can I put in... No, Santri Hataka is not going to be ready yet. Awesome. Enjoy. Man, 2011 and 2. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay. Eklund has disappeared from the top of the scoring list. 2011. Okay. Goals for got a bit worse. Goals against got a bit worse. Power play remained the same. Penalty kill got much better. I'm doing just a quick run through him here. I'm not going to go too... Okay, Eklund's still up there. He's just not point per game anymore, but hey. Johansson dropped the bid. Balser, Stalin, Gaucher. Not bad, but you need more. Need a lot more out of... Well, okay. He's third line center. It's If he's .5 you know, point per game, that's not bad. I would have liked to get him, especially with the power play time, like 50 points. I mean, you can still get there, but... Meh. Not getting... Okay, it's a bit better for Merkley. Starting to kind of... Figure out what he has to do as our number one guy. I don't know what's up with Montebo. He's just not getting a lot of looks. Or when he gets in, no one scores for him. Either way, Aiden Hill is having himself a possible career year right here. We'll see if uh, he wants to continue that. We do have two rookies. Gaucher and Happy Bullet. Man, if Gaucher keeps this up, dude, he could, could win the Calder. We'll see. <laughs> we'll have to see. All right. So not bad. Let's check out those progress reports. That was the main uh, main thing we wanted to do here. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously, ball serves. Yeah, so Johansson's totally going to erase his stat minuses, right? Uh-oh. Well, those are stat minuses for Kinyazov. Wow. Okay, stat growth for Merkley. Interesting. Eklund, this should be natural. Oh, stat minuses. Okay, he should erase those. All right, uh, Ribeiro. Mm, decent growth so far. Not a ton, but decent. Ling. Oh, baby. Okay, that's a good start for Ling. Manuel Ling. That's He's the two-way, right? I think so. 
Uh, Ivani, 74.20. Solid growth, some morale boosts as well. Uh, Campbell, eh, okay. Man, decent. And Ida Kaleo has a little bit. He's not looking good to make it. Pole, not too bad, actually. He's got some high numbers, well, high-ish numbers in his awarenesses, which is good. All right, not bad. Not bad, not bad, I'm bad. None of these, uh... Okay, still listed as minor starter. Keep an eye on that. Okay, so that's that. Check on Meyer again. Not that I'm really going to resign. I think, yeah, I think we got to sell Meyer. Um, I might do the same with uh, Johansson. Simple because I can free up two spaces, call, call the uh, two guys up as depth pieces. And Johansson, if he keeps this up, should have some pretty good trade value. I might have to retain. I uh, should be able to. I think I'm only retaining on Carlson. Can I check that somewhere? Retained salary, 575. Yeah, one. Okay, right there. Yeah, cool. So it's just uh, Carlson's. <laughs> retaining 575. <laughs> uh. All right. So, check the progress reports. Yeah, let's keep going here. Uh, all the way up to the deadline. Because why the heck not? Up we go. Merkley fully healed. I don't think he was out, but I'm double checking. Nope. All right. Continuing on here. Kashnikov is back. So he goes back in here. And then hopefully Hataka will be back soon. It's a pretty rough injury that he faced. Like I said, there's a very important development here for him to get up to per potential top six or depth. Oof, Gustav's again. I don't like that. That's twice he's been. Wasn't it both a knee injury too? Gustav's happy Boulin getting injured. Okay, he's not, hasn't, okay, now he likes ice time. So, good. We're, it seems like we're balancing Gaucher a decent chunk. Or a decent amount, I should say, anyway. Merkley has to sub back in. Wait, 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 what happened? Wasn't it supposed, to, wasn't he supposed to get uh, subbed in somewhere else, too? Oh, okay, it didn't. It's just weird. I don't think it, I felt like it didn't show up that first time. Maybe it did. Anyway, there we go. Hatika's back, good. Come on, buddy. He's 24, man. Like, this is... He needs to get a nice, solid boost out of this year. I don't know if he will, though. Oof. I was just trying to pronounce that in my head, and it wasn't working. This guy's not bad. I don't like how low his awareness is, though. I'll pass. Wish he was a bit more balanced. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, moving on here. Uh, Rocco. Rocco Grimaldi. Ooh. Oh. Okay, he's expensive. Fuck that, dude. I'm taking him. Get on this team. Uh, Gustav's Happy Bulin is uh, back. He's going to be my new top six depth guy. Maybe even on the third line. Did he get put here? Oh, come on now. Let's bring him up. Bring up Rocco. Whoa! Up to, well, he still is at his depth, but yeah, he should probably get called up. Where is... Uh-oh. What? What is happening? Oh, is he? Oh, he must be an exemption. Okay. I was like, hey, where's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, right, call up Rocco. Oh, baby. Maxime Habibulin. Developing quite well. I forgot. Yeah, he's uh, our power forward, dude. Vince Arino. Uh, Why did it stop me? Oh, I stopped it to bring him up. Derp. Let's, damn, thought we were a bit closer to the deadline, apparently not, let's go, hustle it up here, 
We have a two to one win loss ratio in regulation. That's impressive as hell. All right, not anymore. I said it. That's because I talked. Lane Peterson out once again. That'll be Merkley's job. Watch now when we won't have a single injury to our uh, top six. Nice. Couple of close uh, defensive uh, wins right there. We haven't been doing so hot. Timo time injured. You know what that means. Now we get Rocco. Get in there, baby. Oof. Eklund. Yeesh. Uh, whole lot of injuries here. Is Peterson? No. All right, at least Meyer's back. So he's going to play through injury because he's tough. And then I guess we're just going to throw Rocco in here. It's not for long, so I don't really care. Actually, maintains chemistry. All right, 36, 19, and 6. We had sub, not, we didn't hit 40 wins, but we're sub 20 regulation losses at the deadline, which is hilarious. We are. <laughs> in first by fought well a natural two point uh natural one point because ducks have two games in hand um i met yeah no i mathed right five points ahead derp uh three one five yeah our goals against keeps going up two five two oof power play got worse penalty kill Couture with 56 points. Bjorkstrand okay Eklund keeps dropping down but he's still got sizable production and still good production you can argue whether or not it'll be worth 8.3 mil, but that that contract's gonna be really, really good down the line. Well, not yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be good down the line. What am I talking about? That's a good contract that by this point in time, for what the cap will be. Uh, Eklin, Dolan, Balsas 45. Oof! Whoa! Gaucher just ground to a halt. Our power play not doing so hot. Jesus, man, you're not even gonna hit 50. Happy Boolin's on a better pace than you are now. Oof, Gaucher. What happened there, buddy? Yeah, he doesn't like his performance. I don't either. Whatever. Figure it out. Merkley, it's okay. Yeah, Hill. Montembeau. Yeah, not doing... He's got the... He's starting to pick up wins now, but his stats are dropping. Hill's still got pretty damn good stats. Hill really has been a fantastic goaltender for us, man. He really has. So there we are. No real standout production, guys, but I guess that's to be expected a little bit. Let's check progress reports as well. Probably won't see a whole heck of a lot here. Ida Collio. Yeah, just all around the board. Ribeiro. Still okay. Ling. Oh my god, hell yeah. That's great. Uh, awareness needs to go way up. But, I mean, he's kind of getting... Oh, wow. That's just a lot of growth out of the guy. How about Campbell? Yeah, pretty decent. Ivani, he's definitely on pace. Yeah, solid growth out of him. Some bottom six guys growing a bunch. Decent from man. Pull. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. It's a, mm, could still use more. Uh, Happy Bullen's got some growth as well. That is natural. Combined with morale. So that's why he's still listed as depth at 83. A lot, a lot has to do with morale. Toskal has got a bit of growth. Not a ton. Mostly morale stuff. Okay. Dylan Benoit doesn't have any goals. Still listed as minor star. I'm just going to keep him there. <laughs> not going to rush. Never rush a goaltender. Never rush a goaltender. Okay. So here we're at the deadline though. And probably going to pull the trigger on at least one trade. Oh, now he wants an extension. <laughs> Still might pull the trigger on it. But we are kind of lacking power forwards. That's the only reason I'm considering. Well, I, yeah, and since I'm not going to be calling up a power forward, actually, don't necessarily need to trade him. It's probably Johan. How's Johansson doing, it, by the way? He's really kind of slacked. It's still decent. 42.61. We'll see what his trade value is. Might be able to get a decent return for him. And I will show you guys uh, what the draft class is looking like. I should probably do that first, but let me just... Uh, okay, not as high as I was hoping it would get. 
Here's the problem, though. I'd have to, like, extend him to be able to capitalize on stack growth. I don't even know if he's going to get any. What could we get? Could we even get, like, a late first? I don't think so. Maybe. It'd have to be late, late, late first. So I'd probably go for early seconds. Problem is, finding a team who would be willing to take on Johansson and part with their seconds. It's going to be hard-pressed to find a team like that. Now oh, there's Detroit. They don't want to part with a second, but you can 100% get that. They'd be over cap, but we could retain, and it won't be an issue. Okay, so the question is, do we also trade Meyer? I don't know, man. I'm kind of considering extending him for a brief, at least a couple years, simply because, well, actually, no, because we are going to have another power forward. We really don't need to. It would be better to trade him. Give Gaucher some extra time, see what he could do. The, the point is to give the young guns the time. We're not trying to, We're not trying to win the cup here. So basically, it's about making room. I'm 100% calling up Happy Bullen no matter what. Then um, I can honestly replace Johansson with uh, with Rocco Grimaldi. He's pretty okay for uh, like a third line role. He's kind of well balanced, and he'd be decent. Probably put up some okay points. And then we'd have to kind of have someone. Let's see, Eklund back. We'd call up Happy Bullen. He, oh, he'd have to be third line. Well, he could just throw. Yeah, we're not really caring too much about Balsers or Dolan. Balser should maintain where he's at. Yeah, you can honestly throw Grimaldi on the second line. Not too big of a deal. All the, no, 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 never mind. You got to go Shea's going up on the second turp. That'll be triple sniper. Can't really do that. Yeah, can't really have that. Can't really have a triple sniper situation. So, maybe I put him second line. Keep Gaucher where he is. Just because chemistry-wise is going to be very weird. Not that it's I'm overly concerned about it, but it will be a bit awkward. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can cross that bridge when we come to it, but I think we should. We're at least trading Johan Johansson. Maybe Timo. Maybe Timo. I'm not 100% sold on that yet, though. Uh, let's. There it is. Let's give you guys a look at what's uh, coming in this draft. So just elites and f just five of them. Winger, playmaker, no centers or anything. Another lefty, two way guy. Uh, there's another two way. Around 12, so he is kind of coming in around there. Three year ETA. He's going to be good on face offs, too. Man, I'm kind of liking two ways. Maybe. this Because, uh, I mean, with the X Factors chemistry, it's, it's fine, right? So, I mean, I'm not going to shy away from them as I did. Oh, that's a nice steal. This guy probably should be an elite, so I'm going to pin him right now. All these guys, hopefully, going to come more. But other than that, no other elite steals. Nice. Kind of a steal right there. Just, I mean, they're all in the second. You'd probably see him, but pin him anyway. Who cares? How about defenseman? Oops, not yet. How about defenseman now? Oop. Expected a couple more. Only one really in a good area. And that's it. Okay, so... There you have it. No medium elite steals yet. Couple goalies on the horizon, maybe. Uh, still have guys in in locations. Uh, God damn, so many goalies. But yeah, not really looking great. Honestly, our best bet is uh, going for Bob Montgomery here. He's looking pretty tasty. Another center gives us a lot of flexibility. Yeah, he's looking like our best bet with our the first pick we use in the draft. So we're probably going to have to move up. Which is no big issue here. Oh, excuse me, I actually forgot. What are our picks looking like? Okay. Two firsts. So Nashville is actually not in a horrible location by the looks of it. 
I mean, we did give him our Eric freaking Carlson. You're not doing too bad. Did we get their... No, we only got one first out of them. I thought we had other picks. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. Well, it'd be definitely nice. So since we are technically in a retool slash rebuild, we get a few extra picks. But only for... First couple of years here. All right. Actually, maybe I won't do that. I don't even know. <laughs> I didn't really set any uh, rules for uh, pick limits or anything like that, so I'm not I'm not too sure what to do. Anyway, but essentially, we should be able to get who we want. Neil Hansen. I mean, we'll have a decent chunk of seconds if we're able to move him for a second, which we should be able to do. He probably even something a little bit extra, as we saw from at least some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, at least some of the teams that we could get a good second out of. But it's going to be t a little bit tough matching the blocks and stuff like that. But that should be okay. All right, so that will do it. Let me know what we should do here at the deadline. And... Uh, how about that growth? How about the new young core kind of making an impact here? You love to see it. So hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.